In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use your draw, auto fit, and snap, split, and wreath tools. I'm a firm believer that in order to be able to use our tools and our icons um, in an actual project, we have to be able to play with them to understand what they do. So in this project, we're going to actually recreate this template that I have here. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to do is just move this off of my viewport. There you go. All right. And now I'm going to come to the draw tool. And I don't need to see draw, so I'm going to minimize it. And I don't really care about text right now, so I'm going to minimize it. What I care about is my segment type line and begin. So if I left click here, come down here, left click, left click, left click, left click. When I right click, it stops the procedure. Now I'm going to come into arc, begin. I'm going to touch here and here and pull it up. And now I've got this really pretty little arc. Right click, I'm done. Now I'm going to come into the transform tool and I have a start and stop here and a start and stop here, but I actually want them to be down here. So now I'm gonna to come to the split tool. And I always have multi-segment selected, don't know why, it's just the one I'm gonna use. So I'll just come down here, click to select my spot, accept, and now I have three starts and stops. So I'm going to come to the end snap tool and snap this one and snap this one. And now my starts and stops are down here. But I need 12 of these blades. <coughs> to get my 12 blades, I'm going to come to the wreath tool. 12 repeats, 3 inches from center, 90 degree rotation. Preview. There they are. So now you can see that they're kind of crossing over themselves down here. So I'm going to grab one of these petals and move it up. Okay? And I just want them to sort of touch. I like that. I'm going to accept. Come back to the transform tool shrink my screen just a little bit. If you touch this, look over here, it says it's 39 inches and I only need it to be 12. So I'm going to make sure maintain ratio is in, is on. I'm going to touch the height, change it to 12. There you go. All right, bring it down. I also have a ton of starts and stops here that I don't really want to see on my template. So I'm going to come into file, save pattern. And I usually put a lot of zeros or ones, but I'm just going to go zero 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 because I'm not going to use them after this I'm going to keep cre recreating it but I'm going to save this I'm going to come to my library come up here and search zero 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 all right search there it is left double click brings it onto my pattern pad close I'm going to delete this one right click delete and bring this one on so now you can see that I have all of these petals, but only one start and stop. So, but I only want to uh, use this as a template. So I'm going to right click, Q, a DQ, right click, lock. And now I can use it as a template because it won't move on my screen unless I go to delete it. So there it is. I'm going to use this pattern because it's a free one that comes with our software. And it's a point-to-point -point pattern. And a point-to-point -point pattern starts and stops on the same plane. If I bring this up, you can see that they start and stop in exactly the same spot across, horizontally from one another. It's a point-to-point -point pattern. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the Auto Fit tool, which is this blue one up here. I'm going to keep my main, I'm going to make sure my height is four inches. I'm going to touch my pattern. And as soon as I select begin fit, that pattern will disappear, but it'll come right back. So I'm going to begin auto fit, magnify my screen a bit so you can see what's happening. And I'm going to start to touch. Left click, 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 click. And if I was doing this on my sew head on an actual pattern, I would be using the place or the green button on my right handle. Okay, but I'm doing this with my mouse right now. So there you go. Left click, okay, and now I'm going to accept. 
I'll minimize my screen just a bit so you can see. And I've got all those pretty little patterns within my blades. And now I'm going to come back to transform. They are all one. So what I'm going to do is touch the pattern, right click, ungroup. And now I have all my starts and stops. Now I could leave it like that because it looks pretty nice. But I want to really manipulate and play with this so that it fits perfectly within my boundaries. So the old way we did that would be to touch this pattern, come into the morph tool, and you know grab this handle and grab this handle and play with this. But ANOVA gave us an amazing new tool, which I like way better than the morph tool, and that is our draw tool. So I'm going to come back and select draw, and I'm going to minimize draw text and create. All I want now is edit. So what I'm going to do and is I'm going to select this pattern and I get all of these little nodes and these nodes are my morph tools. I get to pull these any way that I want. I can pull them up, I can pull them down, whatever I want to do. Okay? Or I can pull them back. Whatever I need to do with these I can do. I can also add, add or take away handles, but for now, we are just going to manipulate this pattern to fit. So I don't need all of these points. I only need a few. So I'm going to come over here, delete points, select all, preview, and now you see I have one at the point and one at each end. I'm going to grab this one, and I have to accept, sorry, accept, and I'm going to pull it into center more, okay? kind of up like so, so it's centered a little better. Okay, I'm going to come down here and grab these handles, and I can make them wider. I'll just bring it out here and touch there. I'll bring it out here and touch here. Okay, and now I can come down here, touch this, pull it right into my pattern. Pull up, pull it right into my pattern, which that one's pretty decent. But I also get these little handles on each one of these, so I can make it a little fatter, a little skinnier, whatever I want to do. Okay, so that's one. Now I can come over and touch this one. I'm going to delete points, select all, preview, accept, come in, pull it up so that it's centered nicely in my project. Grab this handle, and I'm going to pull out here. Grab this handle, pull out here, come in here, magnify my screen a bit. This is actually my pattern right there. And here it is again, right there. And again, I can use my little handles here to make it a little wider, whatever I want to do. Minimize my screen. And you can see that this one's a little distorted still, so I can probably just pull this in a little bit over here. Let me have you. There you go. All right, not too bad. I'm going to do one more. Touch, delete points, select all, preview, Accept. All right. And now I'm going to come in here and grab this and bring it right up to my pattern. Bring it in here. Select this. Bring it right up to my pattern. Minimize just a little bit. Maybe make this a little bit fatter here. Maybe make this one a little fatter here. Come here. Pull this one all the way up so that I like what it looks like. Bring these handles out. Bring these handles out. Okay, and just keep playing like this all the way around. Maybe I don't like what this one looks like now. I can continue to come back. I can touch here, pull this one over a little bit. Okay, and maybe touch this guy and pull him out here. All right, I get to finesse these any way that I want. Now, there are ways that I can add more handles or take more handles away, but I'm going to leave it at this for now, and I hope that you uh, play with this recreate this, use it over and over again, and the next tutorial or the live feed that we're going to do will show you how to add more points or take more points away and really start to use your draw tool. So have fun with this, practice it, everything that I gave you is free, and just have fun. I hope this helps you all.